From the News Channel 8 studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Melanie Hastings. First, Lady Michelle Obama was recently asked about the president's favorite snacks. So what's Mr. Obama's vice, you ask? It's chips and guacamole. And since today is President's Day, nutritionist Rebecca Scritchfield is here, and she's going to give us her insight on other favorite foods of the commanders in chief, not just President Obama, <laughs> but we're going to go back to some other presidents as well. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, how are Happy you Happy President's Day. Happy Good President's to see you. Happy President's Day. Yeah, you know, snacking is really important. It can actually help people bridge um, between their meals. Studies show that snacks can help people manage a healthy weight, but they can also kind of take a turn for the worse if you're hitting the vending machine in this and that. So Absolutely. I, I love my back. snacks. Yeah, yeah I don't know. take away You're my good. snacks. Okay, so, so I definitely we're starting over here with President yes. Obama so this and his is, guacamole uh, and chips. They're, yep, they're, so it's chips and guacamole. That was his favorite snack. And um, I, this is definitely one that I would vote for. So this is a healthy snack. Absolutely, this is a good one. absolutely. So um, what makes this healthy? The guacamole has is made with avocados. Mm. Avocados you can get year round um, from Mexico. They have nearly 20 vitamins and minerals. Uh, good fats, mono, polyunsaturated fats, and actually reasonable calories. So one serving is is um, three slices of avocado. It's about 50 calories. Not bad, and it's so creamy. Mm -hmm. It gives you that sensation that you're eating something fatty, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. And people tend to be able to portion control that. Now it's the chips that may be the not so good side of this snack, right? Yeah, well you what you want to be careful with is the ingredients list. So everyone's going to have chips. You always want to remember portion control, but also the ingredients. So What, what be, kind of chips did you bring? Oh, so these are um, the Tostitos scoops. And I like the scoops because you can get, you know, n nice, lots of healthy dips in there. But they also only have a few ingredients. So it's like corn, corn oil, and salt. You know, you can name everything. You know what's in there. These are multi-grain, which is nice. You get some whole grain. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you just watch your portions and, and what is a, like that. what is a proper portion of chips and guacamole? You know, I like to tell people to use their hands as portions. So you grab a handful, have some chips and guacamole. If that's enough, you know, maybe take a break for a little bit. And, you know, you don't Come want to eat out of the bag. Don't want to inhale the bag. <laughs> you don't want your <laughs> hand scratching the bottom of the bag for sure. All right, let's move over to another president. This yes. would be Richard Nixon. Yes. And if I can't believe this, but he actually liked to snack on cottage cheese with ketchup. Yeah. I don't know what he was thinking. Well, well, <laughs> who would like that? I don't know. Um, I mean, the cottage cheese, yeah. Right, exactly. You know, I'm not really sure what he was going for. Maybe salty cottage cheese is salty, and that's the one potential drawback, but it is high in protein. And, you know, I would say that most people probably aren't going to crave a snack like that, but what you could do is add some fruit to it. So, um, you know, I just showed here some cottage cheese with uh, some canned pineapple and also canned peaches is another good one. But I do want to caution people that they do still can fruit in heavy syrup. So you want to look for it in its own juices Very good um, point or there, some yeah. other mm -hmm. juice. So pineapple usually comes in juice, peaches usually come in, in peach or pear juice. Well, you could use fresh fruit. You could absolutely use fresh fruit. Berries would be good. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Now, the cottage cheese, you can get a fattier or a less fat form of it, right? You can get no fat. Yeah, yeah. And that would probably be... It depends, you know, the on the taste. Mm -hmm. I would try it out. You know, I kind of like the middle of the road, so I think this is a 2% fat. A low-fat you know. one. Okay. Exactly. And, you know, I would say stick to the portion size about a half a cup. So th is this a proper portion here, this small bowl? Um, that would probably be more like three-quarters of a cup, so. Okay, so yeah. a little bit more than what we should be yeah, eating sure. there. Okay, exactly. But it's a good, healthy snack. Exactly. And, you exactly. know, the, the protein in there, that will fuel you up and make and keep you going for a few more it hours. It gives you it? that bridge that you're looking for. We're looking for things like protein and fiber in our snacks. Okay, Absolutely. Good. All right, jelly beans. <laughs> this has got to be Ronald Reagan. Again, we all Reagan's know he loves favorite. his jelly belly exactly. jelly beans. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, a nutritionist obviously isn't going to say, yeah, eat all the candy you want. So it goes back to the portion control. I love recommending people to use their hands. So if you were to reach in and grab a handful of jelly beans, you, know, you might get 10 or 15. We're talking about maybe 75 to 100 calories and that. Um, but also, you know, when you think of what you're looking for at jelly beans, you're looking for something sweet. So I have to mention the whole idea of getting some dried fruit as a potential option there. Okay. So um, a good substitute for candy would exactly, be dried fruit. Exactly. Like this one is... Um, Sun sweet and it's an antioxidant blend, so it's got blueberries and cranberries and cherries, some plums. Um, but here again, you kind of have to watch the calories in dried fruit. The calories it's high, do isn't count. It? Yeah. You can't eat. Everything.
sticking out of the container, you know, but grab a handful and munch on that. You're going to get some good natural sugar, good nutrition, vitamins and minerals that you don't get with jelly beans. So once in a while treat, you know, think of as a healthier alternative, something like dried fruit um, or these, I don't know if you've seen these dried plums, but they're individually wrapped. Oh, I love that. I haven't seen those. Oh, I love that. So it doesn't get all sticky. On exactly. Yeah, and they great. can go anywhere. Um, Very good. And those are easy to pack for school kids, too, absolutely. since they're all wrapped up. I love exactly. That. Glove yeah. box, have some in your gym bag, have some at the office. All right, let's move over to our next president, which would be George uh, Bush this Sr. This is going to be George Bush Sr. And he liked pork rinds. <laughs> pork rinds. <laughs> which oh. I, you know, have can honestly say I've never had a pork rind. All right, you're going to try what one it is. then. Oh, all pressure. Right, go for it. Tell us Do what you know think. what this think. is? It's pork, pork fat maybe. It's the skin, pork, of and a pig. it's like deep fried maybe. <laughs> it's deep fried pig skin. So I'm so how, forgive so me how, if I on. just take a teeny little bite. <laughs> what do you think? It's crunchy and salty. It's crunchy. It's actually not that bad. Okay. So yeah. it's so it's, it's not that bad. To it's people good. that love crunchy, fatty, uh, salty <laughs> things. Yeah, salty and you know snack. what? To its credit, it is higher in protein, but the salt is really bad. Like if you had a bag of these, which it doesn't even look like that much in the bag, it's a half a day's worth of salt. Um, it is higher in protein, but what I would recommend to people, if you like crunchy and salty, you can do better. Okay. So over here, Frito scoops. You would be surprised at how salt they have. They have one-fourth the salt of the pork rinds, about half as um, of pretzels, which is what you think of as your healthier chips. So again, with a handful, pair with a healthy dip like a salsa, and of course, veggies are naturally crunchy. So if you're looking for salty, crunchy, you can do some alternatives to get a lot better nutrition and maybe... If you love your pork rinds, one to two handfuls once in a while. Just a little bit. I guess that, that goes for any foods. You can eat any food, a little of it every right. now and then. Right. right. You don't want to you know, rip people from their vices, but it is a good opportunity. Again, if you're talking about having daily yeah, snacks, absolutely. look for healthier alternatives and then save the sort of less healthy stuff for once in a while. Well, lots of great choices. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the president's favorite snacks with us. Who knew? Oh. Rebecca Scritchfield. All right. Don't go away. Lots more Let's Talk Live coming up right after this quick break, including Brothers. Nat and Alex Wolf, they're in town. They've got a show coming up at Jam and Java.